I'm very thankful to my PhD supervisor and also ANU for this golden opportunity. And I know with this opportunity, there is pressure in me to study hard and utilize this opportunity well. So getting into ANU is really hard and getting a full scholarship at ANU is harder and very competitive. And in 2024 QS World Ranking, ANU is ranked among the top 30 universities in the world. All this funding was arranged by my supervisor. At present, I'm re receiving two scholarships. ANU is the only national university in the country. Hello everyone, Namaskar and welcome to you all to my channel. It's me, Divya Bhatta from Nepal. And recently, I moved to Canberra, the capital city of Australia, for pursuing my PhD degree at the Australian National University. Talking about Canberra and ANU, it's so beautiful and so peaceful to be here. The day I landed here, I immediately felt like home because of the nature and the fresh air here at ANU and Canberra. And uh, talking more about ANU, ANU is the only national university in the country and also the only university in the country to be established by the Parliament of Australia. And in 2024 QS World Ranking, ANU is ranked among the top 30 universities in the world. So getting into ANU is really hard and getting a full scholarship at ANU is very harder and very competitive. So I feel lucky and privileged and I feel glad for getting the chance of studying at ANU. At present I'm re receiving two scholarships that is ANU PhD scholarship which supports my stipend and also the other scholarship ANU Fee Remission Merit Scholarship which uh, waives my tuition fee and all this funding was arranged by my supervisor so yeah, I'm very thankful to my supervisor for arranging this scholarship opportunity for me here at ANU and making my dream of studying at ANU a reality. <clears throat> Under my scholarship, my tuition fee is covered, I get the stipend monthly and also my flight ticket was covered, insurance is covered and also my visa fee was covered. So this is a lot of funding and yeah, without the support of a scholarship, it will always remain a dream. So I'm really thankful to ANU and thankful to my professor always for this support and funding. And I'm also thankful to all my professors, mentors from my undergrad and master's degree who supported me throughout this academic journey. And also I'm thankful to my family and friends for being there and supporting me every time whenever I needed help or support. Yeah, so I'm grateful to you all. So yeah, this journey has been possible with the support from my mentors, my family and my friends. I would not be where I am today without their help and support. So yeah, really grateful to everyone who supported me throughout my journey. So when I moved to Australia, many of you were requesting me to make video about my scholarship and also about other scholarship. So yeah, soon guys in my next episode, I'll be bringing more information about other kind of scholarship in ANU, also about the government scholarships that are funding the masters and PhD students to study in Australia. So I'll definitely make those videos like I made the videos about Korean government scholarship and other scholarship in Korea while I was in Korea. So I'll try to do the same when I'm here in Australia. But yeah, those videos will be coming soon. Uh, stay tuned until those videos will be out but uh, before that I would also like to give you a tip about uh, finding scholarships so for finding any kind of scholarship of course it takes time it takes ded dedication and it takes consistency so in my case also I had to wait one whole year to apply to this scholarship and get the outcomes and to be here where I am today so it takes time nothing happens overnight you need patience you need consistency and you need to keep applying you need to make certain strategy and apply and if that strategy doesn't work you need to re-strategize and apply again you don't have to lose motivation you need to apply with the same motivation 
with which you started in the beginning so if you can do that and if you can stay motivated you will definitely get some scholarship in some of the best universities in the world it can take time but definitely you'll get one because there are so many scholarships around the globe for international students in diverse field i see them every day in the twitter or linkedin like those opportunities are being posted so yeah you guys need to check those updates maybe use twitter or use linkedin because you can easily see those updates there then compare to other social media like Facebook or Instagram. So yeah, try using those social media and keep applying. And yeah, all the best with all of your application process. And maybe you guys can get the scholarship you desire or the scholarship you deserve. And yeah, all the best with all of your application process because the application process have started for the scholarship throughout the globe. So yeah, all the best. And in the coming videos, I'll try to collaborate with other friends studying at ANU with different scholarship scheme. And for the ANU PhD scholarship, the application has uh, two rounds. Like uh, the deadline for the international student for the round two is August 30th. So you can check the website of ANU where you'll find about the ANU PhD scholarship which can be funded by your uh, lab or your supervisor or which could be funded by the university itself. So yeah, you can try for that scholarship. And also there are like several government funded scholarship like the Australia Award and many more scholarship for international students. You guys can try that out too. So in the end, I would like to say stay focused, stay motivated and be patient because it took me one year after my graduation to be where I am today. So yeah, nothing happens overnight. So patience is the key and consistency is the key. So stay positive, stay motivated, keep applying and you can get several scholarships from around the globe because there are a lot of international scholarships for international students. So this video was just for updating the beginning of my PhD journey here at ANU. Yeah, I'm very thankful. In the end, I'm very thankful to my PhD supervisor and also ANU for this golden opportunity. And I know with this opportunity, there is pressure in me to study hard and utilize this opportunity well. In the coming days, I'll work for that. And also, I'll try to make more videos about more scholarship opportunities in Australia for the international students. So yeah, thank you for watching this video till this end. And yeah, we'll meet again soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay productive. Thank you. Dhanyabad. Namaskar.